most people, some would say go with a 24 volt system or a 48 volt system and some will say, well, go with a 12 volt system. Well, it all depends on your need. The higher the voltage, the lower the current. So, for example, with a 48 volt system, you can use much smaller cables for longer runs and you will have less voltage drop. If you went with, with a 12 volt system, then you would need much thicker cable for the same length of run for longer runs. So you see you're losing efficiencies in your cable if you go with a lower voltage, for example 12 volts. Also one thing to note is that the higher the, the voltage, the lower the current. So a smaller cable will carry a smaller amount of current over a longer run. But if you used this same small cable with a 12 volt system, because the current is higher with a lower voltage system, then you're going you're gonna to have problems. You could have a fire carrying this a, a high amount of current using a small cable. So that's one advantage. The higher the current, the lower the voltage, which means you need thicker cable. The higher the voltage, the lower the current, which means you can use smaller cables. So that's one pros and one cons. The other issue is, of course, accessories. With a 24 volt system, accessories are much more expensive. For example, lights, 24 volt lights are more expensive than 12 volt lights. And also, with a 12 volt system, lights are cheaper. You can get cheaper accessories to run off 12 volts versus 24 volts. Why? Because 12 volts is just more common. It's in your car. So there are more accessories for cars. This lamp, this fan I have right here is a 12 volt fan in my solar shed which is made for a car. It's not 24 volts. If I should, should go out and buy a 24 volt fan, I'll pay a lot more for it. I paid like 10 bucks for this fan right here. This light right here is a 12 volt light. It's a lot cheaper than a 24 volt light. So when it comes down to it, it comes down to cost. Yes, with a 24 volt system or a 48 volt system, efficiencies will go up because, um, if, for example, if you have uh, your PV panels 100 feet away from your charge controller, then with, with a higher voltage system, you can have smaller cable and lower current. You can have longer cable runs to your charge controller. But with a lower voltage system, you're going to need thicker cable and you're going to have more losses in terms of voltage drop. And also, inverters tend to work more efficient with higher voltage because the inverter has less work to do to ramp it up. If you talk to some people, they would even say, hey, go with a 120 um, DC versus even a 12 volt or 24 um, volt or 48 volt DC. Some people say go with 120. So it all depends on your application. But just one key thing to note here is that the higher the voltage, the less voltage drop you will have over longer runs. The lower the voltage, the higher the voltage drop over longer runs, and you would need thicker cables. I hope this helps someone, and just to clarify, and of course, please comment, and um, when you comment, just um, share your views, and um, just, just would like to hear your thoughts on the whole thing. I have a dual system in my setup. I have both a 24 volt system and a 12 volt system in one using a voltage regulator. So let me hear your thoughts and your comments. Thank you for watching and you have a great day.